So, Brands, I know the coaches like for your uh, guys to be first on play a lot of positions. Are you seeing most of your time at right tackle these days? Uh, I'm playing both, actually, now. Uh, right, just, yeah, uh, all of us are rotating, uh, just learning to play new positions. You know, that's, that's great for the next level, too. The uh, next level looks for, you know, left and right tackles, left and right guards, and centers can be versatile, too, so. Uh, I've just been working uh, off season, uh, in season, just trying to get better each and every day. Uh, I've lost about 10 pounds, so I feel a little bit more quicker out there. So, what kind of challenges you get out of the defensive ends with the big group you're working against, the, the ones you choose out there? Yeah, I mean they're great. Uh, give me a lot of moves. Uh, I talk to them after practice, work with them after practice every day. They're a great group of kids. Who's the hardest guy to block out there? Oh, man. That's a hard question. They're all hard workers. Uh, man, I can't, I can't even answer that. I, I, oh, lot. They're, they're, they all give me a hard time. Uh, but iron sharp as iron, so. A little bit about talk about a more emphasis on run game this year. The offensive linemen, would they rather run block than pass block? Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like that's the nature of the game. Uh, get down and dirty for the uh, run game, so. Yeah, I, I would say, but we're, we're more versatile. We we like to run and pass, so whatever it takes to win. Back into pads yesterday for the first time, full pads, I should say. Does it feel like you're fully back into football mode? Now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, fully back into football mode, uh, ready to go, ready to compete. I feel like uh, a lot of the playing time you got last year was a, sort of an, ex, an extra tackle, like almost lined up at like tight end. Right. It might have been a little bit of a different position, but how valuable was that experience getting into games and Playing live. Yeah, it was it, it was great experience. Uh, I had a lot of fun last year, uh, and yeah, it was it was good experience uh, working to get better this year and uh, just compete. As a young guy, when you hear the news that all five starting O line were coming back for another year this year, what does that make you think about? Do you think well that's great for our team, or does it do you think well it's going to make it a lot harder for me to get on the field? Uh, it, it's great for our team. I, I I learned from a lot of guys like Carter Warren, Marcus Miner, uh, Gabe Hoy, Owen Drexel, and uh, Jake Cradle. Uh, you know they're they're all great guys, so I've learned from them, and just I, they just taught me to compete every day and get better. Even with all of them back, do you feel like you're really putting your name in the hat and pushing for a chance at maybe a starting job this year? I mean, whatever it takes to win. If I start, I start. If I don't, I don't. I'm just competing every day, and we're or I'm just getting better. You're adding a freshman like Ryan Barron to the mix too. What have you seen from him so far? <laughs> Kid's gonna be good. Uh, we talk every day. Uh, he asks me questions. I ask him questions. Uh, he, he's gonna be good. Coach's poll came out today. Pitts ranked 16th. What kind of reactions might that get in the locker room? Uh, I mean, that's great. Uh, that's that's a real good number to hear. But we're we're more worried about what what our ranking is at the end of the year. So.